coming to next one that we are saying that we are going to discuss about the nutrients now. So we are taking the first nutrient that is protein. So proteins, I already told you, they are the building blocks. They are known as the building blocks or building foods. bodybuilding foods. Secondly, that the that uh, it is, uh, they are useful to grow and build muscles. And repair of body parts. English and repair of your body parts. Example can be your milk, cheese, egg, fish. Next coming to carbohydrates. So what are carbohydrates? They are energy giving foods. And also they provide energy for various activities. Example, your bread, potatoes, rice, wheat. These are all the examples of carbohydrates. Coming to the third one that is fats and oils. They are also called the energy giving food. And they protect us from cold. Also protect the internal body organs. Uh, example can be your butter, oil, 
nuts, meat. These are all the example of fats and oils. Too much of the intake of fats and oils makes us obese and also lead to heart problems. Yes, Mira? Ma'am, what is mean by lead? What do you mean by? Lead. Lead to? Yes. Means it can cause. Okay. Yes, Neha? Ma'am, which is this food, rice? Rice? Ma'am, this V-I-C-E. Rice, R-I-C-E. Okay, ma'am. By tomorrow, you will receive the test on food and on the uh, Thursday class, we are going to dis having the test and discussion class on this chapter. So be attentive in the class, listen thoroughly. So it will not take much time for you to revise then. Please be fast. Can I finish? Good. Yes, Neha. What is the meaning? Please repeat, Sneha. Ma'am, what is the meaning of P-R-O-C after P-R-O-T-E in fats and oil? Protect us from cold. Yes, ma'am, the C-T. Protect us from cold means you have not understood this statement. Protect us from cold after protect. Protect us from cold also protect internal body organs. Okay, ma'am. Yes, Mira. Ma'am, how they protect internal body organs? When the fats and oils is there, so the layer of muscles will be there inside it. Okay, ma'am. What is there inside us? Skeletal system is also there inside us? Yes, Neha. And what have you written here up to internal body? Organs. Okay, ma'am. Next coming to vitamins and minerals. Can you move back? It's all given in that I can't wait for so long. Vitamins, they are known as the protective foods, as I've told you, because they protect us from the diseases. As they 
protect us from the diseases okay the examples uh, like the types of vitamins can be a b c d e k coming to minerals they are also known as the protective foods and they also protect us from this minerals the types are like your iodine sodium calcium iron these are all minerals and both vitamins and minerals are found in the fruits and vegetables next moving on to water next is water so water it helps us to absorb the nutrients yes first thing it is helps absorb nutrients from the food also transport main function is transport nutrients throughout the body and the fruits and vegetables contain large amount of water we should drink how many glasses of water every day mummy eat who is speaking like this in between mam 8 to 10 have i asked you akash have i asked no oh. yes meera mam i want to answer it's okay yes sayam Ma'am, can you show the previous slide? Can't, Peter. I have written the next slide, so I can't show now the previous one. Akash, till until and unless your name has been taken, don't interrupt in between. Otherwise, I'll mute yourself for you for the throughout the class. i don't like these kind of disturbances in the class yes anam but second line password is what which line second line transports nutrients throughout the body man uh, uh helps absorb uh, nutrients they from food okay. the last nutrient is left that is roughage
Now the next one is roughage. So what is roughage? I already told that it is a fiber-like material and it do not have any nutritive value. But still, it is very, very important and it is considered as nutrient. Why? Because it helps in the digestion process. Next, coming to, now these are the nutrients we have studied. These are the seven nutrients also we have studied. Coming to balanced diet. Now, I think everyone knows the meaning of balanced diet. Means in proper quantity, we have to take each nutrient. Is that clear? That is a balanced diet. It's not that you don't like chapati or you don't like this rice and you are only on there. I'll uh, drink only milk. I like milk. I'll drink milk the whole day. No, that is not a balanced diet. If you say, I don't like milk, like many children, they don't like milk and they say, okay, I'll eat one chapati or two chapatis a day and that's okay. No, that is not okay. Everything has to be required in proper quantity. That is a balanced diet. Okay. The food that we eat every day is our diet. The diet must provide us all the necessary nutrients required by the body. We require everything. Proteins also, minerals also, water also, carbohydrates also, fats. So everything is required. But in proper amounts, not in improper amounts, in proper amounts. That is a balanced diet. Now, proteins, proteins help our body to grow. Yes, Meera, please read all these points about proteins. We have already done. Yes, ma. Proteins. Proteins help our body to grow. They help our body to build muscles, other organs, and make blood. Foods which, foods which contain proteins are called body building foods they also help us to repair the wear and tear of, of of the body wear and tear of the body means some cells which get ruptured or which get damaged again it is replaced by the new cells this is wear and tear of the body okay ma'am common protein rich foods are milk meat Eggs, nuts, chicken, fish, pulses, cheese and peas. Very good. Coming to carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, they give us energy. Cereals like rice, wheat, maize, fruits, potatoes, sugar, honey, all these are sources of carbohydrate. Examples of each nutrient is very, very important. Most of the questions are based on the examples only. Is that clear? Like find the odd one out. They will write rice, they can write potatoes, they will write fish and they will write uh, your uh, honey. So all other are carbohydrates except fish. So fish is odd one out. Like these, the questions come. Okay. So you know, need to know all the examples. People who do a lot of physical work like laborers, sports person need more carbohydrates. Fats. Fats also give us energy. They give more energy than carbohydrates. See, it is giving more energy, but we can't take in more of fats, isn't it? Foods rich in fats are called energy giving foods. Vegetable oil, milk, butter, ghee, cream, all these contain the other sources of fats. 
our body needs small amount of fats. Why we require small amounts of fat? Now anyone can tell me, raise your hand. Vanya? Yes, Akash? Ma'am, I have doubt in all uh, denton. What my question is first, you can answer that. Okay. Ma'am, if we become a lot of fat, so we cannot get energy. I think you are not attentive in the class at all. Yes, Meera? Ma'am, because uh, it also obeys the body. Yes, it makes our body obese and also can cause heart problems. That is why we do not have to take much of fats in our diet. Yes, Akash, what is your doubt? In Tentuan, ma'am, uh, that down Tentuan. is that point. Uh, can you open that first point? Means in Tentuan. This one? Proteins, ma'am, I don't know proteins means. What do you don't know? Proteins. Proteins? Oh, yes. Protein is a nutrient. It is found in milk and milk products. Yes. They are the bodybuilding foods. What you have not understood? Yes. Yes. Name of the nutrient like carbohydrates, which are the sources of carbohydrates and what is their function? Fats are there. What are the sources and what is their function? Vitamins and minerals. What are their sources and what is their function? Proteins. What are the sources and what is their function? All these things are there. Everyone, I want everyone to mute yourself and read it on your own. We have done all these things. In fibers, in function, it is written to get rid of undigested food. What does it mean? It means that the fibers, I told you, it helps in the digestion process. So whatever food remains undigested, that has to be get removed from your body. Yes or no? Yes, that is known as ejection, removal of the waste from the body. So it helps to get rid of the undigested food. Is that clear? That thing only it is helping. Removal of the waste, undigested food from the body. Fast, fast, I'm changing the slide now. Coming to vitamins and minerals, this also we have done that vitamins and minerals, they fight with the diseases, keep us fit and also fight with the diseases. So that is why they are known as protective foods. Different types of vitamins I've discussed. Our body needs small amount of each type of vitamin every day. See, vitamins also we require each type. Not only we are taking only A. No, we have to take all the vitamins in proper amounts also. Minerals also protect us from diseases and keep us fit and healthy. They are also known as protective foods. Some important minerals are iron, calcium, iodine, phosphorus. Our body needs small amount of minerals. So our body needs small quantity of vitamins and minerals, but every day. Okay, it is also a part of a balanced diet. Water and fiber. Roughage are the fibers present in our food. It makes to remove, it helps to remove the undigested food from the body, as I have just explained to you. Some sources of roughage are cereals, fruits, and vegetables. We should drink plenty of water every day. It helps to dissolve, digest, and absorb the food. Remember in water, I have written the functions. It absorbs nutrients from the food and also transports it to throughout the body. It, what is the function of water? It also collects uh, waste from the body and give out through sweat or urine. What is sweat or urine? A watery thing comes out from the body, sweat coming out from skin, and urine coming out from urethra. Clear? Now coming to the techniques of food preservation. Now, what do you mean by food preservation or why there is a need of food preservation? Yes, Watson? No, I want to give food preservation session. Yes, tell what is food preservation? Yes, uh, food preservation means that storing food if uh, some extra food is left. 
okay storing food that is food preservation and why we need to store the food why can't we keep it outside just like that because if we just keep it outside uh, and it will uh, grow old and rot but okay. and uh, and it's also a bad habit to throw it so we can just store them and use them uh, next time we uh, need very good so food preservation there is a need of food preservation because if we leave the food outside it may lead to the growth of germs and microorganisms which might affect our body may cause diseases to our body that is why we preserve the food understood this line everyone why there is a need to preserve because if we leave the food outside it may rot also it may give false smell also that is due to the growth of microorganisms or germs that is why we preserve the food and what are the ways of preserving the food that is for example the idea of pickling in pickling means what you are adding you are adding the salt and the oil how you are preserving your pickles for so many uh, means years also you can preserve by adding salt and oil so this is the preservative which is the preservative salt and oil like in your jams what we are adding sugars so sugar is the preservative we are adding in the jams and candies for example drying drying is removing water removing water from the food that is also preservation method from the food and pack it in the cans or tins or cans okay canning is also a method of preserving food that is removing water or removing moisture and then pack it in the cans air tight containers like your chips you have refrigeration that is again another method i am writing on the top refrigeration like your milk your fruits vegetables these are all stored in the fridge or refrigerator yes so refrigerator that is like your meat fish these are stored in the refrigerators because the cold temperature does not allow the microorganisms to grow yes sir yam Ma'am, what have you written in the fourth one? Drying. And uh, after pack in in four tins, tins and cans. Okay, ma'am. And ma'am, what is meaning of picklings? Pickling, pickles, achar. Yes, ma'am. 